इस वीडियो में हम देखेंगे कि व्हाट इज़ इम्पैक्ट स्टैटिक टेस्टिंग व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ स्टैटिक टेस्टिंग एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स व्हिच आर कम्स अंडर द स्टैटिक टेस्टिंग सो फर्स्ट विल मूव टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्टैटिक टेस्टिंग स्टैटिक टेस्टिंग इज अ टेस्टिंग विच डन विदाउट एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ कोड वेयर टेस्टिंग इज डन टू फाइंड आउट द डिफेक्ट इन पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन और कोड here developer checks their own code under the static testing means if i am a developer before handovering the particular software to a tester it's my responsibility to check whether the all details which are present or all the code i have implemented or written is defect free or not means i am going to check my own code in the static testing so what are the advantages of static testing it is helpful for early detection and correction of errors in the coding as uh, if i am a developer and i am checking my own code at first level means before handovering it to a tester so what happen if there is the, there is any defect it is very easy to find out the defect and early detection of defect we can we are going to clear it or we can correct it in very early phase even if there are the testers they can check this particular software in very early stage means before the production stage so it will avoid the cost Wh whatever will be the cost required for the redevelopment or retesting so this static testing is very important here the feedback received from the testing helps to improve the functionality of process which further assists the team to avoid the similar defects in the issue means for example any particular code is developed at that time if there is a some defect in the login page okay if they have missed with the standard means for close button they have not used the cross instead of that they have written something else means they are not following the standard so if this kind of defect or the uh, mismatch is present there then by receiving this kind of feedback from the tester or from static testing it's very helpful to a developer to avoid that particular mistake in the next development also it reduces the cost as the defect is find out in very early stage and this process will also helps to give a developer a better idea of the quality issues found in the software then what are the disadvantages of static testing as static testing is a time consuming process as most of the time it is done manually then in static testing technique there are different techniques which are related with the static testing are first is a review and second is a static analysis so what is mean by review the review is a process or technique that perform to find out the defect in design of software and it is useful even to find out the faults in document related to the software Me means this particular review is not only going to find out the defects in the software or the code but it is also helpful to find out the if there are any lacunas in the document as well means even when you purchase particular software you come along with the some documents which are provided by the developer or that particular team in static testing that documents are as well get tested then in static analysis technique what happen in static analysis the, the evaluation of software code with respect to the quality of code so here maybe different tools are used to analyze the code and comparison of same with the different standard so here basically you have to remember in static testing technique there are two mainly techniques which are review and static analysis in review mainly focus on the finding the defects in software and documents but in static analysis they are going to evaluate the code means quality of code for example i will give you one example for example you are you uh, the problem statement is develop a calculator right and for particular development of calculator if you have written a 10 lines of code and it is giving a output of all the functionality but same same time another developer has written 100 lines of code and which is giving a say also same output so at that time the evaluation of code with respect to number of lines or the quality of output is also analyzed over here then there are different techniques in the review our first one is a informal walk through peer review and inspection so in informal review it will not follow any specific process to find out the error coworkers are here to 
to review the particular document or provide informal comments means there is no any specific document which are there or there is no there there is no any particular standard to analyze the particular software then there is second method is a walk through where it is basically performed by the experienced person or expert to check the defect so that there might not be a problem further in development or the testing and in peer review the particular document or the code is checked by the one of the member of the same team and in inspection what happen in the inspection basically a verification of document and by the higher authorities or someone in the management people can check with respect to your so particular srs document that is software requirement document then is static analysis which is the second method of particular static testing it helps the following identify means it helps to identify the defects the defects may be like unused variables for example it mainly focus on the testing of the code right so while evaluating a particular code it will check the standards as well so the standards means if they have declared some particular variables but they have not further use otherwise some dead code will be there means that particular code is not useful to provide produce any particular output uh, otherwise some infinite loops means if you are giving the particular input and it is showing the, uh, it is running infinitely okay then the variables with undefined values wrong syntax in static these are the some defects which are found in the static analysis also in static analysis technique there are data flow control flow and cyclomatic complexity are the three types where in data flow they will check the flow of particular code right means how the code is written in control flow they will check the different loops like if loop while loop do while loop that kind of loops and in cyclomatic complexity with the help of formula they are checking how the your software or code quality is so generally the there are so many formulas but here i am giving you one simple formula example that is v in bracket g is equal to e minus n plus 2 e here e denotes the number of edges and 2 2 denotes the edges in the graph means what for example if there are three nodes right and for connecting that particular three nodes there is a first node that is parent node and second two are the child nodes okay means there are from parent to two to two child there are suppose two two edges then how this formula will work if number of edges are two number of nodes are as well as two plus two so two minus two is zero plus two means the cyclometric complexity of your particular software is two you are not it is not uh, compulsory to go into the deep as a tester how the cyclometric complexity is or how it works but for the uh, sake of curiosity or how it works i have given this particular formula even if you can remember only this what are the different techniques and what are the different types is also more than sufficient so i request you please subscribe to our channel please share and comment on which point you want the next video thank you all